I've been a Unity developer for six years, but they messed up bad recently after they introduced a new pricing model that was super vague and left the community with a lot of doubts, breaking the trust between the company and a lot of its developers. Thus, I was left with no choice but to spread my wings and learn new engines so I wouldn't have all of my eggs in one basket. So I'm gonna see if Godot, a free and open source engine with great 2D and 3D features that everyone seems to love, steps up to the plate to serve as a potential replacement. First, we need to install it. I was able to get it up and running in less than a minute, holy sh Okay, here's the plan. I recently played this game called Humanity, where these dudes are in heaven or something, and you have to stop them from constantly falling to their spirit deaths by placing arrows in the direction that you want them to go. I wanna make that, but in 2D. So you'll place arrows on the map, directing your little guys to the end while avoiding their gruesome deaths. So I started with checking out a sample from Kenny, which gave me a good overall idea on how Godot works. Basically, everything's a node, and the nodes are in a tree, and they communicate with each other. Cool. I created a new project and added a 2D node to the scene, which will contain all the other nodes. Then I added a camera and a tile map, where I dragged in Kenny's scribble assets and started making my first room. Um, how do I, how do I rotate this? How, how do, how what? Okay, so there's something called alternative tiles where you can duplicate an existing one, then alter it. So I flipped and rotated some of the wall ones and... But it's not enough. We need to place some obstacles on the map to make it actually challenging. In Unity, you can have several tile maps and stack them. But I found out that in Godot, you can just add another layer to your existing one. When I played the game though, there were these weird gray lines on the border of my tiles. Well, I don't really know how to fix it, so I'm just gonna adjust the values until they look presentable like a real game dev. Now we need to add something that literally no game can live without. But first, I wish there was something to help me figure out Godot's best practices and get me started on the right track from the start. Whoa, look at this neat Godot 4 course that's 85% off with my link. The sponsor of this video, Game Dev TV, is where you can find an easy introduction to game development and Godot 4, learning to make some cool mini games such as Speed Saucer, Alien Attack, and Martian Mike in the process. It also helped me get up and running with Godot and figure out how to use a tile map. You too can get this awesome course heavily discounted with my link below or scan the QR code. They also have a ton of other courses in Unreal and Unity that I recommend checking out. Now every game needs collision, especially this one, since we want our little guys to disintegrate when they step into a pointy wall. Good thing Godot lets me select my individual tiles and carve out their collision shape, but it did keep resetting my collider as I was clicking, so I was this close to throwing my whole computer out of the window. Now to code a simple player controller using GDScript, which is their main language, basically Python with a flavor of Godot, and test the collision. Nice. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I only have 12 hours to make the game because I'm busy, and this probably took like three hours. Now I gotta figure out how to transition humanity's 3D arrows that tell the little dudes where to go into 2D. I think drag and drop is a good bet. So I made this sweet UI and coded a way to move the arrows when you click on them. Yep, that, that seems about right. Remember to invert your rotations, kids. Then when you let go of the arrow, I mapped it to the correct location on the tile set because they use coordinates to identify the tiles. Then I place it on the correct layer. This has taken me way longer than I thought though. I'm probably halfway through my 12 hour deadline. And if I don't finish on time, I'll never be able to face you guys again. Lions. AI. AI is the future, AI is everything. I need AI in my game. What AI are you talking about? The, the one where you tell the little dude where you want him to go. Oh. The little AI dude essentially just checks if it collides with an arrow and goes in that direction. To do that, we need collision layers and masks. I don't wanna tell you how long this took me to figure out. I also added this blood particle effect that would trigger on its gruesome death. But we need a ton of these guys if we want to replicate the humanity game. So I made a script that spawns them with some randomization. Okay, maybe I shouldn't let them collide with each other. Then let's add this progress bar that needs to be filled up to go to the next level. But it decreases over time, so you have to be a little strategic to fill it up completely. Okay, so we have a lot of other features we need to get done, but this is some serious programmer art. 10 years later. Okay, that's much better. Now let's make some more levels with spikes and moving platforms. These little guys use a waypoint system that goes towards its next waypoint. 
essentially a node 2d position infinitely and if you collide splat i've probably spent over 10 hours on this so i need to finish this up fast but first i want to replicate this action in humanity that gives the little dudes the ability to jump so i created a new action and if a dude steps on it i use the length of this tile to compute where the center of the next one is given the dude's current moving direction then i teleport it there actually it looks pretty cool Yo, where's the sound at? All right, we need some music. So let's add a looping music track, which uses this audio stream player 2D node. But I don't want the music to stop when going to the next level. In Godot, they have something called auto loads, which, well, automatically loads a script into the level. I use this to create a node that doesn't destroy itself when going to the new scene. With this, and with some awesome copyright free assets from Open Game Art, I implemented music and sound effects into the game and made this sweet menu. Now my good friend Bargy will determine if this is the best Godot game ever made in 12-ish hours. Much better. We've got some balls. we got some balls going on. I'm guessing we have to get them here. Okay, so. Done. Genius. There's a bit of a bar going on. Okay. So, bomb. Uh, which way are we going to go? That way? Nah, let's go this way. I don't know if I'm, like, rewarded for using less arrows. That would be cool. Boom. Too easy. Too easy. Alright. Okay, moving parts now. I guess the easiest way would be... Dum -dum -dum. Or am I not going to be able to do it in time? Okay, I'm going to try something else. No, not there. There, there. Okay, this might be even worse. This is the way. This is the way. It'd be cool if there was like different colored poles and the the balls have to go for the different Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the thing. Oh god. And then Alright, there's a pole item. Okay. So we wanna go boom 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 up. Okay, that's cool. Do do do. I like the music. I don't know who made this, but it's kinda of fire. Can we wormhole through that? Is the question. We cannot. Maybe if I put it there. Nope. Uh, I'm going to go right. And then I'm going to wormhole. And then I'm going to wormhole. Oh god, this is hard. And then a wormhole there. Yeah, okay. Down. Wormhole. Right. Oh, that thing's, that thing's just annoying. There's an easier way. Hold up. And we wormhole. And then we wormhole. And then we wormhole again. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> there we go. Probably the best game. I've ever played ever. For Samyam, this is this is incredible. I mean, she doesn't normally make anything like this. Uh, good try, good try, Sam. I think Godot's great and it has a lot of potential, but it feels just like that. It's very hobbyist and it doesn't feel fully fleshed out. I struggled to find documentation for Godot 4 on specific features like the tile map and had to ask on the Discord, but they luckily have a lot of active helpers there. Since it's open source, I know it'll be developed a lot more and I'll continue using it for small projects but I definitely wouldn't call it a Unity killer or a replacement by any means. The full project is available for patrons and you can play it in the itch.io link down below. Let me know what you think and if you enjoyed the video, I recommend checking out this one where you can see what kind of game I make by spinning a wheel. Hasta la próxima!